So, welcome back to another episode. We have both good news and bad news. Um, good news is this little chick, we've actually successfully put him back in with his parents now that um, things have caught up. Um, we will have a look at that in a minute. But the very sad news is our little tiger grizzle didn't make it. Pretty much as soon as he come back in after being out with um, Leo and Storm, um, I put him back in here and then obviously... I come out to check on him the next morning on the way to work to make sure I, if, it, you know, if he needed any food or everything was okay and he was in there dead. So I have no idea what happened to him. Um, it was definitely touch and go that whole process with him. Um, even if we had him underneath those parents out there, that was um, you know definitely not a surefire way to save him. Which I know a lot of you guys you know thought that that was a good idea if we could keep him under there that would be fine, but. Um, the fact that he was disadvantaged from the beginning um, and he was definitely well and truly behind where he should be, which is very sad. But, um, yeah, you know, I'm a bit upset about it because, I, you know, I really got attached to that little guy and he was such a good little bird and, you know, I had high hopes for him. But I come out here before work and sadly he's passed away. But, um, yeah, nothing we can do. I'm definitely going to try and get tiger grizzles again, but I'm going to do it proper this time. Um, I'm just going to have to buy a young bird and try and keep that for our stock off when we get it up so stay tuned it's definitely going to happen there is another surprise coming in the very few weeks um, that a lot of you guys have been asking for and it's definitely coming back so um, drop some comments down below if you know what that is um, if you got this far make sure you hit that like button um, definitely helps these videos you know, shoot out into youtube but let's head out and check out these birds and make sure they're all okay just got to make sure I keep the food up to these guys now because they are getting massive. Oh, see, look at the size of these ones. Definitely good to see some babies coming from Leo and Storm again. He's a good dad, really good parents these ones. Never had any issues with them. I'll leave you be. It's actually gonna be quite a warm day today. So I might give the other birds a little bit of a bath. But it seems to be going alright. I'm not going to bother to disturb those eggs today, but um, I checked them last night and no hatching yet, so I assume they can't be too far off hatching. Everyone is just sort of really sort of settling in quite well What's up? and mainly with all these young birds these are all young birds another one this one's getting pretty good now this is a little a little beef cake um, he's eating by himself now and getting up and down on the perches and things by himself as well so he's, he's doing pretty well he's still sort of very friendly which is yeah it's still good to see but i want to see him sort of become a bit more independent but he's eating and drinking by himself, which is the main thing. But he's going to be quite a big pigeon. Look at the difference between this one and this one. I'm saying this one's probably going to be a little hen. I think this one's from Leo and Storm. Beautiful little pigeon, this one. There's little bluey, she's still molting quite heavily, but um, you know, eyes starting to lighten up a bit too, which is good to see. See, she's starting to get the proper colours there, that weird little patch. Um, so we'll see how that one she turns out. And obviously, this pair they're looking to breed again. Just 
just because their little nest is pretty full in there. Um, we'll have a look in there in a second. I might, might take out this little bowl. These chicks are coming back up in here. What I've been doing is just getting them because these ones are ready to wean. Um, and I've just been sitting them on the floor. I'll just sit this one up here so we can have a good look at it because um, this is one of our barless ones. Probably the one I'm most excited to see how it turns out. Uh, a bit darker, but um, you know, very beautiful looking this one. It's probably going to be our best barless yet, so we'll just have to wait and see. Beautiful little bird, that one. I don't think this one's going to be a barless, to be honest, because we've still got this random little black kind of weird patch there. But we'll just see what happens. It might molt out, or it might molt into a bar. I have no idea, but we will find out in the near future. Hey, hey little fella. But both looking okay, pretty good. And then we got this little guy here, is the one that we've been looking after in there. Look how much food's in his belly. So the parents that um, are looking after these two, uh, looking after this little fella as well. So he's still pretty friendly, but he's doing he's doing quite well. And I want him to sort of catch up. You know, it looks like he's sort of pecking at seeds too. So that's even better news. He's probably feeding himself. Um, that's why I do have this in here, because these these two here actually feed themselves. They are at that age anyway, where they're ready to be weaned anyway. So I've been trying to get them out onto the floor um, and onto the perches, just so they get a better fuel for the whole loft. Hey, okay. he's sort of eating out of that bowl, which is good. Um, and then we got this hen, one of our barla splits. She's um, sitting on eggs again as well. I'm not sure if I want to breed too many more splits. I kind of just want to concentrate on all my good birds, which are, you know, these this type, and then this one here as well. But I might try and give these guys a bit of a bath. It's a beautiful morning for it. Here they come. Come on. Come on. Right, so hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget hit that like button and drop those comments down below. There's quite a few things coming up in the next few weeks, um, so make sure you hit subscribe and make sure you turn those notifications with the bell on. Um, yeah, a few things coming up very soon that you don't want to miss. So catch you guys in the very next video.